Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's five past three here uh, on the uh, last trading day before the uh, Easter break. Uh, that's the 6th of April. Uh, and uh, the American market now running for, what, uh, 35 minutes. Uh, we're off uh, about 10 points on the S&P. Uh, and uh, all the trends on VectorVest are down from short term to long term. The situation pretty much the same in the UK. Uh, so uh, uh, I want to have a look at the uh, S&P itself to start with. Uh, and uh, that's what we have on the S&P. Uh, I, I have a short position on the S&P from yesterday. It's done absolutely nothing. Uh, I've shorted it and I certainly won't hold it over the holiday. But uh, I shorted underneath that low. Uh, and uh, uh, that uh, is... Uh, a, a very short-term formation that I call a surprise attack. Uh, if you get two up days and the second up day closes in the top 80% of the range and then the next day it breaks down through the low, uh, that's what I call a surprise attack and it's got a, quite a good history of predicting one to two day moves. So uh, nothing much has happened. First prize for me would be uh, a move down to that level uh, but we're still a long way away from that. Okay, so uh, a stop loss for me is above yesterday's high. Brought the stop loss down above yesterday's high, which is a tick or two above where I entered. At uh, 4.095, I entered short. So uh, still absolutely nothing as yet. So uh, uh, I've entitled this uh, particular video, What's Next uh, for Oil? Uh, sorry, what's next for gold? I did what's next for oil last week, and so far that one's coming right. So uh, I've got a uh, uh, exchange traded fund that follows the physical price of oil, IAU, the iShares COMEX Gold. And uh, uh, I've looked at it on a weekly chart. I'm looking at it on a weekly chart over many years, uh, right back to 2008. And uh, I think what Pretty much every technical analyst in the world has pointed out is this huge cup and handle pattern. Uh, and the question is, of course, is it going to break from here or are we going to have another pullback? Uh, so uh, from the low in 2016, uh, those of you that count waves, uh, I, I know that that's uh, strongly debated by many people, but uh, one A, B and C uh, to two, obvious three wave and this I think is a, a wave four have we got another leg in this back I think we probably have uh, so uh, and, and the target from this would be well uh, up uh, so uh, if we now look at uh, a daily chart of this last wave up and I go to this over the last year. There's the last wave up. And uh, uh, from the, the low, uh, there's also five waves up. And there's also five waves in this little one up. So I think that we're probably going to get a pullback uh, in uh, the gold price. I think that that pullback, uh, if it does occur, uh, will precede uh, quite a strong move in gold. So my recommendations, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that in any weakness in gold shares or a gold tracker such as the GDX, that uh, those shares should be accumulated into any weakness over the next three to five weeks. Clearly, uh, if we go back to the five-year chart, a breakdown below this level would invalidate that particular uh, scenario. But uh, uh, on the GDX, I have a small position already uh, because it could certainly go from here. When gold gets ahead of steam up, uh, it can certainly move and run very, very fast indeed. And I have a lot of experience on that from the, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange over the last 40 years. Uh, this is the GDX, which is the Van Eck Gold Miners uh, Exchange Traded Fund. Very, very liquid. Uh, and... Uh, this, uh, since 2020, uh, came back in three waves right to my 78% retracement. Uh, and uh, that pattern uh, is uh, quite a strong and very strong bullish pattern made famous by uh, a gentleman by the name of Harold McKinley Gartley so many years ago. Uh, as you can see, 
<clears throat> if we blow this up a little bit, uh, there would seem to be an inverted head and shoulders reversal here, which had broke through the other day. Uh, and uh, I have a, a position long in case it does go. Uh, I have a position long uh, if we look uh, from here uh, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, stop loss is at entry on that. But uh, I think that we'll probably see a pullback. If we go back to that uh, goal uh, tracker, uh, we'll probably see a pullback and this doesn't have to pull back much. It can go sideways for three to five weeks. And if I put on my uh, stochastic, you can see the stochastic, my trusty old eight week stochastic. Uh, uh, the price has risen, <coughs> but the indicator couldn't go with it. That's a little bit of a normal bearish divergence there. Uh, but as I say, when gold gets ahead of steam up, it can burst through these levels. But the probabilities, in my humble opinion, uh, favor uh, a three to five to eight week pullback. And I, I think that those of you that have got the stomach for the risk associated with gold mining shares uh, should consider buying gold shares or the tracker uh, into any weakness uh, over the next three to five weeks. Uh, so uh, I hope you found that useful. Oil seems to be moving okay. And as you know, uh, the uh, uh, announcement came last weekend where production was going to be cut and that caused the oil price uh, to actually gap up. And uh, that position's uh, moving quite nicely. Nothing has changed in my view since last weekend. Uh, so I think that there's going to be a, a great, a huge, big uh, trade uh, in the, the gold market coming up. I'm not quite sure whether we're going to burst from here or whether we need another pullback. I suspect we need another pullback before it goes. Uh, but when it does go, it's going to be quite hard to time. Uh, so if we go right back to the S&P, the S&P uh, finding a little bit of strength in here at 484. Uh, and... Uh, uh, as you can see, we're now just down five uh, points from uh, yesterday's uh, close. So I'd like to wish you all a very happy Easter. Uh, those of you that are VectorVS members, just remember that our Q&A session uh, won't be on Monday because of the UK holiday. It'll be on Tuesday at half past one. Anybody that's not a VectorVS subscriber, if you email me, uh, uh, david.paul at vectorvest.com. Uh, I'll send you a free invite for that. No obligation. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye-bye.